my goodness, girlfriends, I think we're gonna have so much fun with this video today. I have found about 10 really good alternatives or dupes at the drugstore that I'm really excited about. I can't wait to bring these to you. I hope that you do enjoy this, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting me, I'm so happy that you're here, and please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. It does help me out very much, and I appreciate all of my regular subscribers for sticking with me and being here all the time. Before we get started, I always get asked what I have on for a top or for an outfit and clothing and jewelry. So I give you a little snippet of that so that you can see what that is. And I will make sure that all of the jewelry, the fingernails and any makeup that I don't talk about on camera today is all listed and linked below in the description box. Really quickly, I'll give you a view of the nails. They kind of look from a distance like they're chipped, but it's really cute because they have this little flower on them, on a couple of them, and they're just so cute. So. Those are press-ons and as always I make sure that I tell you about those. All right Let's get started into today's very yummy cheaper, but better at the drugstore I'm really excited about this. We're gonna get into some fragrance and then hair care and then makeup Let's talk about the fragrance first. I love the pistachio fragrance from K. Ali This is it's pistachio gelato and it's from K. Ali and this is one of my very favorites. It's a very nice pistachio smell, but it also has that clean fragrance to it. This lasts forever on me. One squirt will do me like all day long. If you've had any of her fragrances, you know that these are extremely long lasting. But one of the things that can sometimes happen to me is they can get a little bit overwhelming, even though I love them. So I have a tendency to maybe put them on my wrist. I won't spray them up by my face, on my wrist, maybe on my clothing a little bit. But I did recently hear Jen Phelps talk about going to Target and from the Finery brand, she did find this mist that is the Pistachio Please. I like this so much better than the original Huda pistachio one. The reason is, is because it's lighter. It does have those same type of notes, but at the same time, it's very airy, lighter. It has a little bit more of a fruity fragrance to it. Even though it is not exact and it's a mist that's not going to last all day, even though I feel like it does last a very long time, I like it better than the original one from Huda because it just doesn't quite get to me. Like sometimes this, these can just get to me. I don't know what it is exactly that they do, but I love this one from Finery. It's the pistachio. I picked up a few of them. Yes, I was influenced by Jen, but this is so, so good. One of the things that everybody went gaga for is the Olaplex number no. three bond booster or the bond repair conditioner that is the treatment where you wash your hair, you put it on, you leave it on, then you have to take it out and then you have to wash it again. Well, I did find the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Intensive Treatment. This one you don't have to wash your hair, put it in, wash it out and do that again. You do just have to wet your hair, put it in, let the treatment set, then go ahead and do your washing and your conditioning afterwards. And your hair feels so soft. There's a reason that I talk about these bonding treatments so much. It's because with fine, limp hair that doesn't grow very good and it is color treated, it has a tendency to break or it has a tendency to not be as healthy as hair would be that doesn't get any color treatment, that is more medium, more coarse, or you know, is not so fine. But this just really saves my hair. I have found that through the years, I've tried the L'Oreal as a dupe. It is really, really good as well. But I did recently stumble across this, and this was, again, because of something that one of you told me. It's from RHRI. This is Rida Hair Research Institute. H2R Hair to Renew, Unleash Your Hair's Renewal Power, Molecular Bond Repair, Leave-In Hair Mask. What this is, is you get that bonding of your hair follicle. Goes down into the hair follicle and just kind of smooths it, heals it, helps it bond together, helps it look healthy, helps repair it. It's just a miracle. And I love the Redken. I love the Olaplex number three, but this one, because it's a leave-in and because of course it is so much less expensive, I like this one so much. It's not too heavy on my very fine hair. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It just feels really good. Don't use a ton of it or you're not gonna like it, especially if you have thin hair like I do, fine hair, 
but if you use just the right amount, you're gonna find that you love it. Stick towards the end of your hair, but this is a really, really good product, and I definitely wanted to tell you it is just as good as the Olaplex or the Redken. It's just not as expensive, and I really do think that you're gonna like it. I wanna to talk to you about one of my very favorite of all time primers is from Hourglass. It's Hourglass. It's the Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is one that will take care of your pores and your texture, and it looks so pretty under makeup. I've really loved this since it came out. I love how well it sets underneath makeup. I love the thickness of it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and yet it goes in and it just perfects those pores, and it's so lovely. Now, I did put this in a video long time ago, maybe two, three years ago, when this came out, but the alternate for it is from Revlon. This is the Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Skincare and Primer. This is so good and so darn close. It has the same consistency. It rubs in the same way that it does kind of sink in, but at the same time it smooths out those pores. It is absolutely gorgeous. It sets underneath makeup just perfectly. So there could not be in my mind a better duplicate for it at the drugstore. And definitely I love the Vanish from Hourglass, but if you could save, I don't know, $20 and get the one from Revlon, oh my goodness, definitely a must to have in your makeup arsenal. And by the way, I did just do a video on primers and I didn't put this one in here because I knew I was going to be putting it into this video. So just so you know, the one from Revlon is one that I've talked about for years and years. It just didn't go into that one because I was going to make this video next. Next one I can't actually take credit for. I'll tell you in just a second who actually talked about this and I am really impressed by this, that she found it. And yeah, let's go for it. Tower 28 is the concealer that I reach for every single day lately. The consistency of it is thin enough that it doesn't cake up underneath my eyes and it doesn't crease really badly under, underneath my eyes. It does have serum in it, so it has some skincare ingredients in it that are gonna love your eyes while you're covering all those dark circles and bags or whatever discoloration you have underneath there. I love how this covers too, because I have really, really bad dark circles, but this covers without having to be so thick. So many times concealers can get too thick as you're trying to find one that will really do the job. This one is not thick, and I love that about it. Now, Stephanie Marie is the one that found this alternative, and she hit this spot on, so I wanted to make sure I brought it to you, my viewers. And that is the NYX Serum Concealer. Bear with me, Serum Concealer. And I am blown away about how close this is to the Tower 28. It is a serum as well, so it's a little bit thinner, has some skin-loving ingredients in it. One thing I will say is with the Tower 28, you're getting the doe foot applicator, so it's a little bit easier just to get a little bit, whereas the one from NYX, you have a tendency to take out a little bit more because it's in a pump. I wish they did have a doe foot applicator, but I think that they that she nailed it when she said that this is the same consistency. I will say that I don't think that this has as much coverage as the Tower 28, but that's okay. Lots of people that I've talked to, they don't like that much coverage because they don't have as dark a circles as I do. But what I do with mine is I will just put a coat on, I'll let it set, and then the coverage is still there because you're completely covering everything. But then I'll go back in and I'll tap it out so that it's blended and it, covers every bit as good as the Tower 28 when you use that method. Let me put these in the right hand so you know that which side has on which. But when she said that it was a dupe for it, I went and dug mine out and I'm like, oh my goodness, this girl nailed it. So thank you, Stephanie. I wanna make sure I give her credit for it. But this is a really, really good alternative at the drugstore and it's not gonna cost you near as much. So good from NYX, bear with me, serum concealer. Next one I wanna talk about is one of the most beautiful powders I've ever seen for mature skin. And that is the Dior Backstage Powder. This is light as a feather powder. Think no powder powder, think nothing on your skin, think airy and light and just absolutely velvet. 
I love this powder. I put my finger into here. I don't feel like I'm hardly getting anything up on there. You put your brush into here, same thing. This is one of those powders that as you're putting it on, you could work and work and work with this practically all day and not put too much on. And you can put this all over your face. There's hardly anything there. This powder is probably the best powder I've ever run across for mature skin. If you're looking for a good powder and you're willing to pay the price, go for it. The Dior Backstage, I have mine in one N. It is not too dark. It might look a little bit dark in the pan there, but it's not too dark because of how light and airy it is. And it just hardly goes on like nothing. And yet it blurs and perfects and it is just intensively beautiful for a powder. But recently, and I don't know if this is true or not, but L'Oreal had their True Match Pressed Powder on the side of the Ulta that's new arrivals. And so I was like on it. I think that they've reformulated this because I don't remember this being as good as it is now. And same thing as the Dior powder is that as I stick my finger in here, there's a little bit more picked up than the Dior, but boy, not much. When I say that, I think that part of it is because this has a little bit of a different color. You can see right here with the Dior, this is a little bit darker. Maybe I need a little bit darker. This one is in C3, I believe, which is cool three. Maybe I need a little bit more neutral one. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a couple of different shades and see if I can kind of get it to be a little bit closer to the one from Dior. But again, you can stick your brush in here and you can work with this practically all day and hardly even feel like you're putting powder on. Light, airy, airbrushed, it is just so perfecting. So for those of you that are women that feel like every single time I put on my concealer, I put on powder on top of it and then it looks terrible because it's just too powdery, it's too thick, these are the kind of powders that you want for that under eye area. They're also the ones that blur without making you look terribly dry. This is such a good powder and such a good alternative for the Dior. Now, if I, again, if I had the money, I probably would go ahead and purchase the Dior, but because I feel like this one is so close from L'Oreal, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it is every bit as good a quality. You might just get a little bit more powder on than the Dior. The Dior is still just a slight bit lighter, but I feel like this is such a good alternative that I had to put it in this video. Rare Beauty came out with their blush luminizers that are, it's kind of a baked formula. These are so pretty, and I put these in a video that I was trying new viral makeup. These are beautiful blushes, if I can get this one open. They are gorgeous. They make your skin look very highlighted, luminized, but they have enough of the pigment in them that you're going to be able to see how pretty they are. They're a beautiful highlighting blush that just looks so gorgeous on your skin. You don't need a lot of it. They're more pigmented than you think they are. But again, this is kind of a pricey little number when you're looking at it. So what I did was I took two of my Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. The color that I'm referring to first with Rare Beauty is Hope. And so Hope is the one that I have on my skin right there. So pretty. So I picked up these two. The one is Berry Cheeks and the other one is Pretty Peach. And the two of them together, mixed together, looked exactly like Hope did. And so I knew I didn't have an exact duplicate for the actual color, but putting them together was magic. <laughs> it actually looked almost identical. You're gonna be able to see that it does look a little bit different on there, but look at the shine on there for both of them. The ones from Essence aren't quite as luminous, aren't quite as beaming as the ones from Rare Beauty. Kind of like that on my mature skin, you want more of a highlight, you can go for that with other products, which I'm gonna show you on here in just a second. But I love that these are highlighting at the same time, but you get the beautiful colors. And I do have three of them. I think they're so pretty. Definitely feel like on the cheek, they have that same quality of being just pretty, giving you the blush look, giving you the luminous look, and they do look really pretty on mature skin as well. Makeup by Mario has these gorgeous, beautiful blush, I'm sorry, bronzer sticks 
that are just so easy to work with. I have mine in light medium. It is a little bit more on the orangey side, but this is the best color for me that doesn't show up it to be so orange and so bam in your face orange for a bronzer. I, I work with this and I think this is probably the easiest stick to work with and it's just so creamy and it's luxe and it looks gorgeous on your skin, blends in like a dream. You look sun-kissed from it. I really love his, his bronzer sticks. I like them better than any, any other of his skin products that are the type of bronzing ones. But again, this little number is very expensive. So digging through all of my stuff the other day, I was like, I completely forgot about the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. It's in the color Mocha. First of all, the color is obviously not identical. It's a little bit darker, but I do feel like once you buff that out a little bit, you're gonna get the color that's almost identical. And you can't tell from one side to the other which one I have on, but what I love about it is the property of being able to blend it exactly like the makeup by Mario. It is so easily blended across your forehead, across your cheeks, wherever the sun touches, touches you normally is where you wanna put your bronzer. So super easy to work with either one of these and buff them out. There's the one that I'm buffing out from Physicians Formula. It just buffs out so beautiful. And then you go ahead and buff out that one from Makeup by Mario. They are so nice. And the quality of both of them just works out to be so pretty on mature skin. And that's why I wanted to make sure I mentioned that this one, get it blended out, may not be the exact same color, but the formulation and the blendability and the wear time, those are the same. And I wanted to make sure that I brought those to you. Product that I don't talk about very much is the Glow Balm from Merit Beauty. And this one is in Kava, Kava, something like that. What's so pretty about this, and I have it on today, this makes your skin look like it's drenched in just beautiful glow. Instead of being any sort of a really true highlighter that you put on and you just all of a sudden see all of this really beaming highlighter, this is more of, okay, I've spent a really great day at the spa and I have just this beautiful glow. And for a mature woman, that is key because we want that beautiful glow without showing up any of our texture. This is a gorgeous stick. This has lasted me such a long time. I reach for it over and over again. I mean, I'm still using it and it still is hardly gone at all because you need so very little. But boy, does it give a beautiful beam to the cheeks. I recently came across the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Glow Stick. This doesn't come in different colors, although the Merit does. The one from e.l.f. does not. But I am here to tell you that this is identical in feel and it is identical in the color Kava. On my hand right here, we're gonna see the e.l.f. on this side and then the Merit on this side. And there is no way that you could tell the difference on the glow from either of those. And same thing when we're looking at the cheeks. Here is the one from Merit, and then here is the one from Elf. Can you believe how incredibly gorgeous both of those are? But the one from Elf is a fraction of the price. I absolutely love this. I think it's one that if you are a mature woman, you need to pick up and just give it a try. Wear it underneath one of your blushes. I swear, you're just, you're going to love it as much as I do. And I want to side note, tell you that the On The Glow Super Glow from Pixi is almost the same as well. So if you don't have a place where you can pick up the e.l.f., this Pixi one is just about as good. This color, I think is called Natural Luster. I'm hoping that's what it's called. But it has that same feel to it, that same property to it. None of these have any sort of glitter. And again, no beam in there, just the property of giving you a glow. And I think that is what's absolutely gorgeous about it. So. These sticks are great. They have them in blushes. They have them in bronzers. 
I love these sticks from Pixie Beauty. They're handy, they're easy to work with, and they blend in so well, and they're great for mature skin because they definitely give you that dewy, juicy look to your cheeks. I do wanna talk about one more powder. This is the One Size Pink Powder, and I really enjoy this so much. When I first got it, I was so impressed at how brightening and how beautiful this powder is. It's one of those ones that when you use it, you know. It's just a really pretty powder. It's very pink and it's very refined and it's just so easy to use. I've got that glowy stuff all over my hand. So let's try to see if I can wipe that off a little bit. So what's so pretty about it is that as you use it, if you're a fair person, you will notice that your under eyes or wherever you touch up your skin with the powder is going to get that beautiful glow to it. And that's really what I love about it is that it is super brightening. Sometimes you don't want to use some sort of a highlighter like what I just showed from Merit and Elf. You want to use something that is just going to show the highlight on your skin and not necessarily the glow. This is a beautiful powder. I just love it. But again, this is very, very expensive. So I did come across very recently, they released or re released. I think that they, okay, Makeup Revolution is who I'm talking about. I think that they did have a pink one, but I don't think that they had this rose one. And I'm pretty sure that they probably released it to be in line with the one size one. Although I'm super impressed with this, I think it's a beautiful powder. And again, you're getting that super brightening look. I think this one's even more brightening than the one size. I don't know why, but I just feel like it truly is a little bit more brightening. I know that I've been reaching for it way more than the one size the past few weeks. Maybe that's because I've been testing it more, but I have been noticing that it does show a little bit more brightness than even the one size does and that's the property that I love about it now is this drying if you get too much of any loose powder on your face then I would say yes you're gonna have a little bit of dryness but I love both of these in the summer because definitely holds down any breakthrough that I have because of maybe my t-zone getting a little bit oily or a little bit of the humidity I really like having a loose powder on hand specifically for that. So I do love these both, but I'm thinking that I'm enjoying the Makeup Revolution one a little bit more because the color seems to be just that little bit elevated brightness on the rose. So like both of them, but I'm really enjoying the Makeup Revolution. All right, lastly is one that I, I think I've talked about before, but I can't remember. I get to doing these so much and then I will come across something and I'm like, I use that and use that. Can I find a dupe for it? And this is from House Labs and it is her pen crayon, which is the lipstick. And I love this color because it's like my perfect mauve pinky color. And it's just called Mauve Matte. It's super pretty. It is kind of a bright blue, bluish pinky, mauve color. When they say mauve, sometimes they go into this, oh, I don't know, a little bit of an orangey color, a little bit of a warm color. This is not at all. This is definitely your basic cool mauve color. I love it. I've worn it like crazy. I think it's gorgeous. But this ink crayon, the Super Stay from Maybelline, and this one is in Stay Exceptional. I think is so darn close. One thing I will say about the one that is the difference between the two is I do think that the Maybelline one has just a little bit more along the lines of a satin finish than the one from House Labs. Like that matte finish a lot, but you know what? Every single time I end up putting a gloss on top of my lipsticks anyway, because I'm such a gloss person. I love a juicy lip. So this one by itself, I can wear without necessarily reaching for a gloss, but at the same time, again, we're saving so much money. Same exact formulation as far as the delivery system, and I do feel like they're so comparable in their color. I just really love both of them, but I love that I can save so much money with going with the Maybelline one. All right, friends, I think that is it for today's video. Those are my 10 
duplicates or alternatives buy this that not that cheaper and better at the drugstore i hope that you did enjoy seeing this video today thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me let me know down in the comment section if you have any dupes or alternatives that you have been thinking about and talking about lately i would love to know that all right i hope to see you next time in my next video please take care of yourselves i love you much goodbye my friends